This year, the Operation Roundup Board voted for some big grant changes, and we really hope those help y'all over the next year. We've also included some grant do's and don'ts for those of you that may be new or just have some questions about what typically does or does not get approved. The maximum grant request threshold has increased to $750 per teacher per grant cycle. So it was $500 and now you can request up to $750. The board knows that teachers like to request grants to be shared among one grade or one subject across the school. Now you can do that with just one grant request. This means that multiple teachers can go in together to request a single item to be shared. The only caveat is each teacher's name has to be listed on the grant request. The max is $750 per teacher included in the grant request. So if you have four teachers included in the grant request, you can do 750 times four to get your total amount maximum. Same thing with multiple of the same item or items. We know that sometimes the whole grade may want to do the exact same lesson or the exact same manipulatives. So instead of every teacher in the third grade requesting the same thing as separate grant requests, you can now all go in for one big grant request for a multiple of the same item. Here is some very important info for requesting the shared resource and multiple item grant request. The application must list the name of every teacher included in the request in the grade or subject area in the name of item or item section of the grant request. This means, let's say three teachers have gone in together under the name of item or item section, it would say Sarah Smith, Jane Doe, Lucy Ray in third grade at West Elementary and then list the name of item or items in that section. That way the board knows exactly who's going in on this shared grant request. The max is $750 per teacher included in the grant request. This means that four teachers together can submit a grant request for a total of $3,000. Big news, the January meeting cycle, which is grant cycle three, will consider grant requests for furniture for your classroom in addition to the normal grant request. This is the only month furniture grant request will be considered. They just ask that whatever you're requesting has more to do with a purpose and less to do with decoration, but they understand that sometimes those can be both. Here is a list of dues for requesting items from Operation Roundup. This is a long list and you might wanna pause it and look it over. And if you have any questions about what they do or don't approve, you can always email us at operationroundup at colemanec.com. Now here is a list of items that the Operation Roundup Board typically doesn't approve. This doesn't mean that they are never approved. It just means in most cases they are not. If you have any questions, you can always email us at operationroundup at colemanec.com. That's all. If you have any questions, please email us at operationroundup at colemanec.com. We are always happy to help you.